my name is Ashley Slocum. I am a district leader and a doctor of pharmacy for CVS Health. So kind of a gist of what I do in a day in my role is I'm responsible for 19 store locations that are part of my team. So I run a district that includes both pharmacy and then our total store. Uh, so in my district, I have about 350 colleagues uh, that kind of report and are part of our, our team and report to me. So I get a chance to take care of everything, making sure that we're having really great experiences for our patients um, and our customers, make sure that our stores are running and operating efficiently and optimally. And I get a chance to help take my teams through any new initiatives and anything that's on the horizon, different projects. I get a chance to help lead them through that. So of course this last year certainly presented us with some new challenges um, and a different opportunity for our teams to work together. So some of the things that I enjoy and have enjoyed since growing up that I think helped kind of land me in this spot, I've always cared for taking care of people. My uh, dad was a pharmacist as well. And so I got a chance to see how he interacted with people. Um, he was really adamant about helping us, you know, kind of get out there. We're always doing something on whether it's on the weekends, um, and just getting a chance to enjoy our community. And I think that helped to let me see how much impact one person, even in their profession, can have in a community. And I, I have always enjoyed that. My husband actually is a pharmacist as well. So we ended up um, meeting while we were both at work and both kind of on that similar pathway, which is kind of fun now as we get a chance to do some of those things together and taking care of our um, families and, and in our communities. But just kind of my whole life. It's been seeing what impact one person can have on others. And it's cool to see that transform into a professional career as well. And you see that impact be even greater than you could have ever imagined. I always had an interest in math and science and chemistry, kind of all of those subjects. Um, English as well, too. I was kind of across the board, had a lot of different interests, but had always done well in those areas. And so I think that gave me some of that confidence to pick a career path that would utilize those. And so from high school, um, went into college. I went to high school, um, small town, Hibbing, um, Northern Minnesota, and had a really great experience there. A lot of support, you know, as well, I think, to make sure that I was in a good spot for being ready for that college transition. And then I went up to North Dakota State, go Bison, and I got a chance there. Um, right off the bat, I kind of Pharmacy was what I wanted to do. I really enjoyed, you know, my father's career path. Um, and they had a great pharmacy program there too. So I was really excited about that. And the program there was set up as a six-year program. And one thing that I think was important to note is, so I got through the first two years of the pre-pharmacy program and it was really competitive. And so I applied to pharmacy school and I felt pretty good about it, pretty confident. I had a, a a good, you know, great GPA and had done well on the exams. And I didn't get in. I was on the wait list. And it was one of those moments where it's like, I already knew what I wanted to do. I came out of high school, I was ready. And it was really tough to kind of step back and say, okay, well, what do I need to maybe do differently? I was still, that's going to be my path. I remember having a meeting with my guidance counselor and, asked, you know, what my plan B was and what else would I do then if I didn't get in. I told him, I'm like, this, I, I don't have a plan B. This is, I want to be a pharmacist and I'm going to try again and I'm going to try harder. And so a couple of the classes that I got B's in, I actually had to retake to try to get an A. And it was one of those moments where you're like, wow, I thought that that, that was okay, but I will try um, a little bit different. Uh, was definitely able to get into the program that next, um, through that next year. And it actually helped me out because I got to take a few classes ahead of time. Um, and it cut down on my workload for the first year of the pharmacy program. What was important about that too is um, I went into pharmacy because my dad was and my first year of the program, he actually passed away um, from ALS. And so it was like one of those, all right, now I, I really want to, to pursue this and see this through and I'm proud to get to do it. So I finished out uh, the program and enjoyed every second of what I got to learn, enjoyed my rotation year. That's kind of the cool thing about the last year of pharmacy school. You get a chance to put it all into practice and do that for different five-week rotations. Came down to Minneapolis, St. Paul area once I graduated. 
And at that time I joined on um, with Walgreens and I got a chance to be sort of a market pharmacist and go around to different stores um, where you get to learn all of the different components of the profession and you get to see different areas around the metro. So I did that and then moved into being a pharmacy manager. So a day in the life of a district leader for CVS and kind of my current week and, and day roles is I start out the week and I get a chance to really sit down and kind of look at everything that's happening and, and plan and prioritize for my team, what's important um, and what we need to set out to do for that week and, and reflect on how we have been doing and get a chance to communicate that to all of my pharmacists and pharmacy managers and the store managers that help support them as well. So get to dig through different reporting and data and see where we're at and how we're doing in taking care of our communities. In the middle of the week, I'm usually always out in our stores. So I have 19 locations. For me, they actually span two states. So in Minnesota and North Dakota. So I travel between both of those states into the stores. I'm directly right there with the store teams. So we're going through just different plans that they have and, and that they're working on, whether that's something on how we can better impact patient care, making sure that the times that we call patients are most effective, um, everything from how we complete our consultations and the different initiatives, maybe it's immunizations. This last year, a lot around COVID testing and what we did in store with that. So I get to coach, I get to give advice and help analyze those plans, um, give direction. And, and see how we are progressing in our store teams. You know, a big thing at the start of the pandemic and throughout has been what can we do to slow the spread and try to contain where we can contain and mitigate where we can take care of, of um, reducing the impact and the negative impact, especially on our communities. So as a pharmacist with CVS, one thing we started right off the bat, we have across the country about 10,000 store locations. So in about half of those, we implemented COVID testing. So getting a chance for those in our community to come right through our drive through get to do a COVID test, and in one to three days, get, a, get their results back um, and help to make sure that based on those results, we could help slow the spread. Somebody that tested positive was able to quarantine, um, get the care that they needed, and those with those negative results able to kind of figure out what their next steps were in the community. And that's been an important, such an important role that we've gotten a chance and feel very privileged and proud to be a part of since the start of the pandemic. And, you know, about a year ago now, we've conducted over 15 million tests, um, a COVID tests across almost 5,000 locations. It's been pretty incredible. Um, and that also allowed us in recent months to expand to rapid testing too, as we were able to see the impact of that. If we can get testing and get results quicker, we can make sure we slow that spread even more in the community. Some important advice that I would give and I think really helps as you look towards a career in any facet, but definitely one in an area that changes so often, has so much innovation behind it, um, such as STEM and healthcare in particular. Um, but the piece of advice I give is a growth mindset and what you do to be open to change and to what's to come is so important. It allows you to think differently, allows you to contribute to teams in a more impactful and effective way, uh, gives you a lot more passion and drive to just have that type of a growth mindset versus what we say is a fixed mindset. You'll find you will love so many different components of the work that you get to do and all of the different ways that you can show your impact when you've got that type of, of a mindset.